Hello again. Today we're going to be talking about some errors that could occur when you are sampling data or collecting data for the purpose of analysis. So let's get started. The first type of error that you might encounter is what's called a sampling error. And that's what happens when you sample, you take a sample from the population, but there's a specific characteristic of that sample that is different from the rest of the population. For example, you're taking a survey about employment um, or happiness in employment, but all of the people that you choose are unemployed. Now that uh, could be a random error. It just might so happen that all of the people in your random sample are unemployed. So uh, you really have to watch for this error because you do want your survey, you do want your sample to be representative of the population. The second kind of error that you might encounter is a non-response error. And that's exactly what it says. Uh, people choose not to answer your survey for one reason or another. Sometimes they don't have the ability to do it because if you are conducting an online survey, they might not have the technological ability uh, to answer that survey. Also, it might be the kind of survey where they're really not passionate about the topic um, or they don't know a lot about the topic. So they might be uh, less inclined to answer your survey. But if they do know a lot about it and they do want to express their opinion, then those are the people that would take the survey. And that that's another form of the non-response error is where you only get people answering the survey if they know a lot about the subject or are very passionate about it, like a dissatisfied customer talking about customer satisfaction. Um, and that will skew the data as well. So you don't want that kind of error either. Another kind of error is measurement error. If you're asking for numerical data from people, uh, they tend to uh, record inaccurate information. Uh, they may measure things incorrectly. They may um, tell you that measurements are what they are, but they actually are incorrect. Um, height and weight, uh, they might be rounded to the nearest inch or pound, whereas you would want it more accurate than that or they might giving you the information that they wish were true instead of what is actually true and that might skew the data. Also, if you don't word your questions well, uh, people might accidentally answer incorrectly um, just because they, they think that you're asking something but you're asking something else. All right, and the final type of error is what's called a coverage error. That basically means that your sample doesn't accurately reflect the population. Uh, you always want your sample to be proportional to the population so that it represents the population. So for example, uh, if you were asking about successful relationships and you decided to ask 10 couples about what it means to be in a successful relationship, um, that doesn't really accurately reflect the population because the population isn't all coupled together. Um, there are single people, um, and uh, people in other situations that you would also need to include in that survey. So this usually happens when your sample isn't unbiased or isn't large enough. 10 couples is not that many uh, people to ask about um, successful relationships or anything for that matter. So you would wanna ask a lot of people um, to get a lot of coverage, but you would also want to ask a variety of people so that your survey is unbiased. So here's how we avoid those errors. The obvious way to avoid errors is just to ask everybody, have everybody in the population take that survey. We call that a census. Um, and that's where everybody is asked the same series of questions. Well, that's not always practical. So uh, you have to conduct a survey, but you have to make sure that it is a proportionate representation of the population. Um, so you'd have to look at all types of people that are in the population and then make sure that each type of person, uh, regardless of several different factors about those people, uh, make sure that that is a proportionate representation of the population. Okay, you have to make sure that the survey is large enough, so not like 10 people or anything like that. Um, it has to be unbiased and it does have to represent the population. So that's how you conduct a proper survey and you avoid those errors. Uh, if you have any questions about that, please let me know and I will see you tomorrow.